<clears throat> Shameless promo. Hi, hi, bitches. My name is Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Just a reminder that my real name is Frederick Chin. I know there's a lot of new people out here who are very confused about the longest running joke we have on my channel. I've been doing YouTube for more than three years now, and everyone knows that if you're on the internet, you're gonna get some hate, especially on Instagram and YouTube. And throughout these years, I've evolved and gotten a tough skin to all the comments I get about my appearance or my face in general. And I've gotten my fair share of comments and insults and straight up you know, hate about how I look. You know the ones where they call me ugly or disgusting because I don't have society's face or the fact that I'm gay, that's a whole nother story. Because according to American society, you have to have big lips, be white or pale, and have voluminous hair with zero flyaways. You need to have negative three flyaways if you're gonna be on Vogue magazine. If you don't have all these traits or you don't look like every other Instagram model, you are ugly. You're ugly and you need to change it because you are personally offending other people because of the way you look. Before you finish your hate comment, this is obviously a parody. Being Chinese, I even have to deal with, you know, the traditional beauty standards of China and I get comments about those too. They want bigger eyes, paler skin, and double eyelids because one is not enough. Black eyes, change them. You look soulless and like a demon. China never listens to black eyed peas. So throughout the months, I've gathered the comments on my Instagram and my YouTube about the way I look and because I want to please you guys and stop offending you because of my appearance. So sorry for the face I was born with, by the way. It's, I know it's ugly. I'm going to Photoshop some pictures of me so I look more attractive or hot for society. So this is the first picture I decided to Photoshop. I posted this a while ago on Instagram and you know, I thought I looked cute in it because it's still my profile picture to this day. But some people didn't. For example, your eyes are so ugly, wear some context at least. Now don't bother going on Instagram to find this person and send a hate comment. They've been blocked already. But like, if you want to follow me on there, I mean, it's right here. It takes like a few seconds and also, I'm very desperate. Anyways, I'm just gonna change my eyes to a more beautiful color like this hoodie I'm wearing. So let's go with blue. Because according to this person, Dark eyes are gross. Fun fact, no one in the world has brown eyes. They're just actually dark, dark, dark brown. This one looks like a blue eye, but this one looks black, so we need to change that real quick. I'm just gonna copy a picture of blue eyes from the internet. We're gonna cut out this part. If you're wondering why I know how to do Photoshop, I am a photographer. It's just something I do on the side. So let's see, what will make it look like I have blue eyes the most? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, dang. I already look so much more beautiful. So what you want to do is duplicate that. You got to move it to this side. And then we're going to start erasing this away. So once we back up all the way, wow, guys, look at that. I'm not Satan anymore. This is, this is great. Already looking like an Instagram model who wears contacts to fool the young generation and influence them to change their eye color just by promoting colored contacts or surgery, because that's a thing now. Now I really want these to be brighter, so we're going to do it like that. And now I'm going to make my eyes bigger because Asian eyes are way too small for this society. Usually people use double eyelid tape or glue because if you have smaller eyes, especially if you're Asian, you get called you know chinky eyes or they like to do this because that's comedy gold because haha we love belittling people's appearances and making them feel insecure to the point where they change how they look permanently so they can feel more confident ha self-love is a fantasy guys give up on it while you can so I'm a little bit dumb sometimes. For some reason when I was recording my screen, it did not pick up the part of me physically changing my face. It happens two times in this video and I just had to recreate what I was doing. The stuff I said happened during the video is just the footage is gonna be recreated. So sorry about that. So what I'm doing right now is giving myself classes. I'm kidding guys, I'm just freezing the area that is not gonna get affected by this. But we do have to keep it natural because if we don't, will get caught. And don't worry, everyone on Instagram does this already, so don't even feel bad. So let's just see the difference, ready? Isn't that so beautiful? So gorgeous. All right, so that's what I look like now. Ugh, get rid of this acne, ew, Jesus. Gross. You have to have clear skin even though you're a teenager and you're going through hormones and stress because having acne is just not right, you know? Like, you're not allowed to have that in this world. The acne, don't know her. And while we're here, we're just gonna blur out all these pores. Your skin has to literally look like porcelain, nothing else. If someone can see your skin texture, you're doing it wrong. Oh my god. I already look so much more beautiful. This is so exciting, guys. I get to finally be pretty on the internet. Alright, next up, we're gonna look at this guy's comment. Stop dyeing your hair, you... 
Oh, and we're name calling now. God forbid people get bored of their natural hair color. Let me just go ahead and change that back to black for you guys. Because we have to look proper for people, you know? Okay, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult because I have to figure out how to do this flawlessly at the same time. Okay, not my best job, but like, there, I have black hair again. You know, I look natural. I look like how a human being should look. No one is allowed to dye their hair color, guys. Not in this world. Drag queens, goodbye. Lady Gaga, goodbye, you're not pretty. This guy hates tan skin on Asians, so they don't hate tan skin on white people or any other race. I mean, if they hated tan skin in general, then oh my god, black people would kill them. Because melanin is poisonous, guys. This is not pretty. I just came back from Florida, so I look even tanner than normal, which means no one will want to date this tan Asian because pale is pretty, guys. Repeat after me. Pale is pretty. So we're just gonna brighten up my skin now. I'm trying to figure out how to do it because I've never done this before. Mainly because I don't feel the need to, but now I think I should. If you wanna do this in real life, first you have to wear long sleeves and long pants every single day. Never go outside, and if you do, you have to use SPF 5000. Also, you need to buy those lightning soaps and lotions that chemically damage your skin. They work really well according to some celebrities. So I just made a layer that will only affect my skin tone, but I can't look like a ghost. I need like some color still, so that, that seems good. Double barrel shotgun nose. Cute comment. We're gonna make this a skinny legend, everyone. Get ready. Don't feel bad if you do this to your pictures, by the way, because everyone already uses Facetune. It's completely morally correct to change the way you look on the internet because no one wants to see the real you, obviously. Stop being selfish and get a nose job already so other people quit being disgusted by your natural nose. Ready, I'm gonna look so much prettier. Boom! I mean, doesn't that look like how I should look? And you know, just to make sure I have that very small bridge, we're gonna make a bridge for myself. Ready, we're about to make myself the skinny bridge nose. I need to highlight the center of my nose. This has to look like heaven is literally on my nose. Oh. Perfect. I forgot to say this in the video, but I just James Charles my nose. <gasps> oh god, why do you watch me? Now I'm just gonna do the Kylie Jenner challenge in Photoshop. Like, I don't even have lips, guys. I look like a zombie. Who would want to kiss that? How am I ever gonna get a boyfriend with these lips, guys? All right, so I finally think I look like how I'm supposed to look on Instagram. I should just delete that post right now and just repost it with this, guys. Before, after. Right? This is the next picture that I posted while in Florida. God, I'm so ugly. First of all, this tan skin is way too much. It's offending me. We need to change that right now. And then let's do some skin brightening right now. Perfect. Next, we need to add fillers to our butt and our lips. I tried doing the duck lips. I, I did terribly, obviously. This post was trying to imitate how popular girls usually pose, and I got there, but I just didn't do it completely right. I mean, they face tuned and I didn't. Let's just blow up these lips really fast. Ugh, get rid of your stomach, Frederick. Oh my god. I ate way too much salad that day. What was I thinking? I wanted to look like I have butt pads. See, now I finally look like I have a butt. Ready, ready? You ready to see the difference, guys? Ugh, so beautiful. I like this so much more. This is how I'm supposed to look. I need to carve out a jawline first. Makeup isn't gonna fix that. Double chin, Frederick. There you go, that's natural enough. I'm glad I'm wearing sunglasses so you can't see how ugly I look, you know? And one last time, we are going to show the before and after. So this is before, this is after. Yeah, I definitely like the after more. So, if you couldn't tell what this video was about, I don't like it when people facetune their bodies to the point where they don't look like themselves. I understand why people do it with makeup because it's not as accurate. Or you just take out some acne because, you know, that's temporary. Like, you just want to look like you have clear skin. I get that. I've done it before. But even with makeup artists, I start to question how much of it is your work and how much of it is facetune doing it for you. And if you're trying to change the way you look, I know why. I know what it's like in real life to be shunned for what you have. I mean, I've gotten pig nose, I've gotten the eye thing way too many times. I'm pretty sure every Asian has gotten the same thing too. I believe in self-love. It was really hard to say self-love isn't real in that video. I was just trying to make it satirical for you guys. But no, self-love is definitely real and I believe everyone can achieve it. You don't need plastic surgery to feel pretty or love yourself. I know there are exceptions. I don't need you to comment them today. Society does not need to pressure you to look like a popular girl on Instagram because they probably hate their own appearance too. Okay, that's just a little life lesson. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, or subscribe because I post videos every Saturday, Sunday, or Wednesdays, Thursdays if I'm not procrastinating. I hope you guys like this video. It's definitely like 
left field of what I do. I hope people understand the video and watch till the end and I didn't just comment, oh my god, why is he trying to promote Photoshop? It's actually the opposite of my goal. But yeah, love yourself because I love you guys and everything is less than three. And watch this video while you're at it.